my reinstatement shows no man can change what God has destined. Exactly, Lamido Sanusi says. So now that Lamido Sanusi has been reinstated, he has uh, issued this uh, first statement saying that four years after being dethroned, he's reinstated and it shows that whatever God has destined, no man can change it. No man can turn it around. It might only take a while. It might be delayed, but delay is not denial. So it's back on throne. This is great. So let's get into the detail of what Sanusi is saying. Hmm. So in the midst of that, um, he led the Jumat on Friday, the Jumat prayer on Friday in the government house as the new emir. And then even uh, Governor uh, Abba Yusuf, the governor of uh, uh, Kano State, is saying that Sanusi was victimized in 2019. He was victimized in 2019. Can you imagine? Uh, he says, you know, he will report George who gave order from U.S. to stop Sanusi's reinstatement. Can you imagine? So the judge was even in U.S., was not even in Nigeria. How can you stay in U.S. and then pass order? That means it's not going to work. So, and uh, I didn't give any directive or restatement of Sanusi because the Kokanso is talking his own there. But again, let's get straight into uh, this man's uh, statement. Reinstated Emir of Kano, His Royal Highness Muhammad Sanusi II, who was deposed in March 2020, 2020 by the immediate past governor of Kano State, Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje, declared yesterday that his reinstatement was an affirmation that no man can change what God has destined. Amir Sanusi made the declaration over, I mean, after he was presented with a letter of reinstatement by Governor Abba Kabe Yusuf of Kano State and was turbaned at the government house um, uh, yesterday. So Governor Yusuf, on his part, while presenting the letter of reinstatement to Sanusi, explained why the Kano State government reinstated Sanusi as the 16th Emir of Kano. So he said Sanusi uh, was victimized in 2019. The governor also expressed his amazement how a judge would grant order of injunction stopping the reinstatement from far away United States in the middle of the night after he had asserted, you know, to the bill at uh, 5 p.m. Can you imagine? So it means that uh, the governor Abba Yusuf already signed the bill in total law 5 p.m. and then at midnight, uh, this APC at midnight, I tell you, APC at midnight. So the judge stayed in the U.S. at the middle of the midnight, passed an order that the Sanusi, Sanusi should not be reinstated after the governor had already signed the the stuff into law. Who does that? The image he can't hold water now. Look at the time you passed your your court injunction and look at the time it was signed. At that time, it is your own is to receive the law and interpret and implement it. That is it. And not to talk about it again. So it's obviously not going to work. Meanwhile, the 2023 presidential candidate of the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, and former governor of uh, Kano State, Senator Rabi Musa Kokwanso, on Friday said he didn't give any directive or a statement of his Royal Highness Muhammad Sanusi II as Emir of Kano. Kokoso said he also received the news of the reinstatement of the Emir like every other person. So according to Governor Yusuf, the Kano State House of Assembly repealed the Kano State Emirate Council Law 2019, uh, the Kano State Emir Appointment and Deposition, Deposition Amendment Law 2019, and the Kano State Emirate Council Amendment Law 2019 that you know, balkanized the over 1,000 year old Kano Emirate. And I signed the Kano State Emirate Council's repeal bill 2024 into law. We did that out of conviction and belief that this gentleman, His Royal Highness Muhammad Sanusi II, was victimized in 2019. Okay, so your reappointment to the coveted throne of Malam Ibrahim Dabu was guided by a collective and careful judgment about your competence, credibility, proven intellect. We are optimistic that you would, at this, uh, at this trying period of the Emirate, 
deploy your wealth of experience, intellect, and reach to provide the required visionary and purposeful leadership required to reunite and rebuild this very respected and revered institution. So as you ascend to the throne of Kano Emirate Council, again, the scope and the horizon of expectations has broadened. And it is our prayer that in your new position, Almighty Allah, okay, will use you with the power of his grace to cancel and move the Kano Emirate and indeed Kano State towards more prosperity, unity, enduring peace and sustainable development. So, <laughs> I call upon you to use your position to unite all the adherents of the house of Malam Ibrahim Dabu and also bring harmony and understanding among all the Islamic sects in the Emirate. So, on the court order restraining the restatement of Sanusi II, Governor Yusuf said, I assented to the law some minutes past 5 p.m. and at 2 a.m. in the middle of the night, there was a court injunction. Have you ever heard that that a law which was passed without any objection could be suspended? Even the judge who gave the court order was in America, but he gave the order via online. He gave us order in canon that it is compulsory for lawmakers to also abide by law. I will table this kind of abnormality before the Nigerian Governors Forum so that we can tackle it accordingly. We followed the due process and that's why we did what we did openly before everybody. I urge the lawmakers that there is no cause for alarm as the law has come to stay in the state, Governor Yusuf said. Exactly. So speaking after receiving the letter of appointment, His Royal Highness uh, Mohammed Sanusi said his reinstatement as the Emir of Kano was a sign that no man can change what God has destined. So he commended the governor and the lawmakers through whom God destined that he would be reinstated as the emir. He said the move have saved the state from waking up one day to witness each of the 44 local government areas in the state having its own emir. <laughs> Abi, because they were ready to proliferate emir. That is it. Yes. They were ready to proliferate emir. I will not be surprised. Okay. So those are the words of uh, those are the words of uh, the new Emir of Kano, or rather the reinstated Emir of Kano, Muhammad Sanusi II, and that is actually a very good development from Kano State, and uh, everybody is happy. So in his own words, <coughs> my governor and our assembly members, you will not understand the gravity of what you did for the history of Kano and the country at large. Uh, more Kano Emirs is started from Bagauda over 1,000 years ago. In these years, it was once that we had Emir Mohamadu Koguna, who was overthrown, and he came back after some days. This shows that in 1,000 years, there had been no case like what happened now. So in the northern part of this country, we have seen it in different states, how politicians Balkanized Emirates with a state that has one Emir becoming 20, 20 some 19. So in states of Northern Nigeria, in, okay, in states of Northern Nigeria, there are local governments with two or three first class Emirs, all because the system has been destroyed. This thing that has been brought to Kano, had it been it was allowed, one day we we'll wake up uh, with Emir of a uh, Kumboso, Bichi, Fage, and 44 Emirs. So what the government and the assembly did is a rescue mission, Sanusi said. So the reinstated Emir Sanusi too led the two Rakat Jumat prayers, which has in attendance the governor, his cabinet members, and other personalities at the government house. That was great for him. Congratulations, Sanusi, for being reinstated. Uh, like he said, the what God has destined, nobody can change it, and it's a big lesson for people to learn. So thank you for listening, and let's have your comments.